So today we are in my kitchen. My dirt bike has been in my kitchen for a couple of years now because the power valve blew out, whatever. So I decided to get a top end rebuild kit. Just came with a piston, some gaskets. So I am gonna be slapping that together right now. I got my tools from the shop, some cleaners, my Haynes manual. So yeah, just gonna throw a new piston in it. I just got my old piston pulled out. I just have to replace this little bearing right here. All this looks like it's in good shape, but I had it apart because the power valve blew apart. So I figured top end's only like 200 bucks. Might as well do it while I'm in here. So now I'm gonna put the rings on the new piston here and put that new bearing and get it going. A lot of this really easy for my new rings. You can see those two little centering pins and I'll show you when the rings are on. And the piston has an arrow to the exhaust side. So really you can't mess up the assembly of it unless you break something. All right, so the new piston is on, rings are on. I'm just gonna clean this gasket surface a little bit, throw the gasket on and drop the head on. So I got the cylinder head bolted on. Everything flows smooth, no issues. Which is a good sign. So I got the top of the cylinder together, starting to put the coolant lines back on, the spark plug line, the motor mount. I'm gonna do the carburetor, which is hanging up here. And then I have to start worrying about the power valve. All right, so I finally got my FMF exhaust stuff. So I'm gonna put my can onto my bike now and be done with that. All right, so I got my exhaust on. You can see the spring on top and the spring on bottom that holds it. Just a little o-ring in there i'm gonna give it its first startup All right, so I forgot to film an outro for this week, but that is it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week.